Hello, and welcome to this video that's going to talk about solving trig equations. A uh, lot of work here, somewhat tricky. Uh, I tried to break it down with a good overview here, okay? Because you're going to see a different variety of problems. Okay. So I'll just read the overview to start. Number one, isolate the trig value or create a zero product property situation via factoring. Okay? Some problems will allow for just uh, simple algebra to isolate the trig value. Uh, like getting x by itself, you'll need to get cosine by itself. Other problems you'll have to factor because they involve multiple solutions and uh, the zero product property will be important. Uh, number two, establish if the problem is a chart, circle, or calculator problem. And you'll see what I mean by that uh, when I do the examples. Okay. Um, and for chart and calculator problems, you need to establish the reference angle. You wouldn't do that in a circle problem because a circle is where the angle involved lies directly on an axis. Uh, excuse me, I had to pause in the video for a second, so let me restate that. So, uh, if it's a chart and calculator problem, it's because the reference angle will lie in one of the quadrants and you can uh, use the chart to say what the reference angle is, or use your calculator using the inverse button to say what the reference angle is. But again, if the terminal side of the angle in question uh, is lying on a an axis, you'll just use the 1, 0, negative 1 circle to answer it. But the one thing that's important here is always make a drawing. Okay. So, let's see what we got when we get into these examples. Okay. A lot of information over here just for me to kind of point to the style of problem, okay? I'm going to be working over here on these slides, though, to uh, help establish the routine that needs to be done. Okay, so let's take a look. It says solve for theta in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Uh, okay, so we're going to be in radians when we state our, um, our solutions. And I'm going to use in the overview where it says here to isolate the trig value in this first problem, okay? It's in fact not going to be a factoring problem. I'm just going to get cosine by itself by dividing by 2 on both sides, simple algebra property of equality, okay? That's going to give me cosine theta equals negative 3 rooted over 2, okay? Excuse me, it's 3 rooted. Um, over 2 and the whole value is negative. Okay, now I've got to, according to the overview, establish if the problem is a chart, circle, or calculator problem. But what I mean by that is that this value here is from my chart, so I know it's a chart problem. Okay, so in a chart problem, you have to establish the reference angle. Well, that'll come right out of the chart. Then I'm going to use ASTC to appropriate, uh, appropriately compute the final answers. Okay. So I see here that my reference angle is going to be pi 6. Okay. So I say that my reference for theta is equal to pi 6. And now I'm going to have to use ASTC. Well, it says here that the cosine is negative. Okay. So over here on my ASTC chart, I know we've got positive here, okay, and for cosine, and positive here, and negative here, and negative here. Well, that means that I'm going to want the S quadrant and the T quadrant. So with my drawing now, where I draw the reference of pi 6, I need to know that these two red angles that I draw are going to be my answer based on ASTC. So, the first one I drew in quadrant 2 is going to be 6, 6 minus pi 6, so that's 5 pi 6. And the one in quadrant 3 is 6, 6 plus pi 6, so that's 7 pi 6. So, we see that this equation has two solutions. And they are, in fact, 5 pi 6 and 7 pi 6. Okay? So, again, the overview here was to isolate the trig equation by doing this property of equality. Okay? 
I recognized this value as being from the chart. I used the chart to establish the reference. Okay? And then the work I did with the sign on ASTC establishes that I needed these two quadrants from the drawing uh, in, to, included in my drawing, and that allowed me to find the solution. Okay, so a couple more examples here. Okay, solve for theta in the interval 0 to 2 pi for cosine squared minus cosine, uh, cosine squared theta minus cosine theta equals 0. Okay. Well, if we take a look at the overview again, in this one I'm going to create a zero product property solution via factor. Okay. So I notice here that there's a common factor of cosine. So I can do the greatest common factor, cosine theta undistributed over cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. Okay, that factoring can be checked quickly with distribution. You see, you get back the original expression: cosine squared theta minus cosine theta. Okay, now because it's a zero product property, I'm going to split the problem into cosine theta equals zero and cosine square. Excuse me, cosine theta minus one equals zero. Okay. And then on the right one, I'll isolate the trig value, which is always good. And then I'm realizing now, um, according to the overview, I'm going to have to establish if the problem is chart, circle, or calculator. Okay? So, I see these zeros and ones for cosine values. I realize that they're not in the chart, but they're in fact in the circle. Okay? So... Cosine, by definition, in the unit circle is x, so I'm just looking for where x is going to be 0 and negative 1, and that looks like it's going to be in a couple of places. Here, here for my zeros, and here for negative 1. So the drawing that I make is 0, 1. I call that theta equals pi halves. And then the drawing I make here is going to be also pi. And the drawing I make here is going to be 3 pi halves. So this equation has three solutions. Okay, we notice that even though uh, the zero product property had two factors, it yields, in fact, three solutions. Uh, that, again, is because over here, uh, where cosine is equal to zero, you're saying x is zero. That was two places on the unit circle. Okay? So, I guess you're probably realizing now that if I'm going to do another example, it's going to involve the calculator. Uh, you would be right if you think it's going to be a calculator example. So let's take a look at this. Okay? So we've got solve for theta in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So it says for secant theta plus 7 equals 12. This will propose a small challenge on our calculator because uh, we don't have a secant button. I picked this problem particularly so that you would uh, be supported in when you see, you know, when that occurs. Okay, so, according to the overview, again, we want to isolate the trig value, and we know that because this is really not a factorable expression, okay, so that'll happen one way or the other. You'll have to either get the trig value by itself or factor. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 7 from both sides. Get 4 secant theta equals... Five, and then divide by 4 and get secant theta is equal to um, 5 fourths. Okay? So, from there, okay, 
you should realize that the reciprocal of secant is cosine. Okay? So, I'm going to model this on your calculator. I'm going to model this on your calculator so that even in this easy example, your calculator is put into play here. Okay? So, I'm going to take the reciprocal of 5 fourths and use that appropriate button. So if we take 5 fourths and hit x to the negative 1, that'll do the reciprocal of 5 fourths, which is 0.8. So because I took the reciprocal of 5 fourths, and that is the secant, I actually get the cosine of theta is equal to 0.8. So you understand I did the reciprocal here by definition and the reciprocal here on my calculator. Now, I have to establish, is this a chart, circle, or calculator problem? Okay, the fact that I just used my calculator for the reciprocal should be a hint for that. Okay, so this 0.8 value is nowhere in the chart, it's nowhere on the circle, so therefore it's a calculator problem. Little hint, if you have a really ugly value, a bunch of decimals, it's going to be on your calculator. So, now there's only one problem here. I need to do this in degrees, so I should have said in the directions here from 0 to 360, okay? So, because um, I'm not going to get a pi value off of my calculator, so I'll do it in degrees. So, because I want the angle, I'm going to hit the inverse cosine button, the second cosine button. I'm going to say 0.8, okay? This is not the answer per se, it's the reference angle. So, the reference is 36.87. Now, I have to use ASTC still, okay, because it's a non-circle problem. The reference lies in one of the quadrants, okay? Well, I see here that the cosine is positive, okay? So, where am I going to look? You're going to look in the all quadrant for positive, not the S quadrant because cosine's negative, not the T quadrant because cosine's negative, and the fourth quadrant for C because cosine's positive. So, when you draw your answer, in this case, the reference is exactly one of your answers. And then the fourth quadrant, you'll go backwards and say it's 360 minus 36.87. Another good time to use your calculator. 360 minus 36.87. And that'll give you 323.13. So my theta is equal to 36.87. And... 323.13, both in degrees, these are both your answers. Okay, um, the worksheet that goes along with this in class, if you're one of my students, uh, the problems are split by section pretty well into uh, isolate the trig value, okay, and then some that have um, some factoring and some that have some use of your calculator and some that uh, you'll encounter where some of the values are on the circle. So I tried to split this video up uh, as best I could to cover that, okay?